Hello everyone and welcome to the 16th day of our Redstone Advent Calendar, counting down the days towards Christmas with some bite-sized redstone and what I have for you here truly is bite-sized. This is a very small little contraption but one that is extremely useful and it helps us create our redstone jukebox project that we did a while ago. So let's check this thing out. It is of course the signal strength maintainer and what we've got right here is a little setup to demonstrate what exactly it is this thing does. So on the back side over here we've got a whole bunch of lamps that are going to light up and on the front here we've got a whole bunch of inputs to send into the little contraption. So the idea is that we'll be able to take an input that's a pulse and then turn it into a stable output but it's also going to be one that remembers the signal strength as well. So as redstone goes along it goes down in signal strength and comparators can pass on that signal strength through blocks to other pieces of redstone. So what we do if we go with this one over here it's going to be the lowest signal strength we can send in. Well, not the lowest in the game, but just the lowest in this little contraption that we've got. And you can see that we now have a steady output that remembers how strong the signal strength is, and it's going to stay like that until we turn to choose it to turn it off. So if we press this little button over right here, we can reset the contraption. So now let's go back and let's pick one that's going to have a slightly stronger signal strength. There we go. You can see more lamps have lit up. And once again, it's going to stay like that until we choose to reset it. So this thing is going to maintain an input that's given to it if that's in a pulse form and uh, and then it's going to keep the signal strength as well for the output and you can see that one lights up all of the lamps at once. So that right there is your tutorial, this is the entire contraption. Your inputs can be either of these blocks or the redstone next to them and then your other input for resetting this will be this bit of redstone over here pointing into that comparator and notice that that one is on subtract mode which is important so when a redstone signal comes into here at any strength what's going to happen is the comparator will take the strength behind it and input it into whatever is in front of it because it's a block it's going to pass that signal strength over to this piece of redstone and this one is going to repeat the process and send it back over to that one which means we're going to maintain the same signal strength now if you've got a signal strength and then you input a weaker one it's not going to deduct that you have to reset it each time if you put in a stronger signal strength it will actually um, add that up and go with the stronger signal strength um, so then once you've got you know an input going on let's actually simulate that quickly uh, it's going to maintain it and then all you have to do is put this in subtract mode give it um, a full strength signal on the side here and then it's going to remove the signal strength and then the contraption is ready to be used again and that's all there is to it. Maybe it doesn't seem like much of a contraption, but believe me, every now and then you'll run into something where this can be useful, and it's a really good one to know. So that's it from me, this video. If you enjoyed it, please do leave a like, and of course, go and check out Mumbo's Redstone Advent Calendar video as well. So that's it. Thank you for watching, and I'll catch you next time. Bye-bye.